earlier in the day, late afternoon, 425 p.m. Eastern. It was the Tom Brady show guest starring the Cowboys and the Browns. <laughs> I mean, that's funny. how it was sold. I, I don't care. Get yeah. mad at me. I don't care. It was too much. It really was too much. Well, when they put it was embarrassing. When they put they the set him up to up. fail. Yeah. Dak yeah. Prescott is on one side for the Cowboys, and it's Tom Brady. And the Browns are a playoff team with the defensive player of the year on their team, let alone Deshaun Watson, and we'll talk about him in a minute. But there's certainly enough players that they get to put on the graphic there with Dak Prescott on Cleveland to do that. But they made it, yeah, they made it all about Brady. Did anyone watch that game yesterday who wouldn't have watched that game if you and I were calling it? I would submit to you that not a single extra person watched that game yesterday. It's still the Cowboys and the Browns week one. Nobody's saying, I have to go hear Tom Brady. I, Nobody is. I disagree with you. I think there's some people out there that probably went, man, I want to watch Denver, Seattle, and I'm, but I want to hear Brady. Do you think a Broncos or Seahawks fan is going to say, I'd rather hear Tom Brady than watch like my a favorite soft team? soft one. Because yesterday was, a soft I one. mean, come on, Broncos, Seahawks. <laughs> Only Broncos, like, Seahawks, and fans like, are watching like a that game. Soft Broncos, yeah. see, like one that's not totally invested. Like the ones that are like, yeah, I like the. Broncos, I could see but curiosity, right. curiosity, right. just to see. Right. How does he sound? Yes. Does he have a mellifluous voice or is it a little squeaky <laughs> all the time? He got does a he lot of squeak. Speaking stuff. complete sentences or are there stops and starts all the time? And look, I just think that the way this was handled, it creates natural human resentment and irritation like God has come down from heaven to call football games let's start with a lower bar he came into the NFL as a sixth round pick he was on not even on the bench nobody knew who he was for a year and opportunity arose and he proved himself they have made this into and I guess you have to if you're paying him 37 and a half million a year yes, but you're exactly. doing him no favors right you're doing him no favors because well, be I'll fine. submit to you He's getting 37 million a year He's that's true right. but he it's not like he needs it but I'll submit to you, not yes. a single person watched it who wouldn't have watched it. There was plenty of criticism, as expected. And you wonder if they'll get to be a point where someone who otherwise would have watched a Brady game doesn't want to watch a Brady well, game. Well, uh, uh, one thing it does is if you have a TV with four boxes, I think you'll be more intent to, or, or more inclined to maybe listen to that one, at least with him. Like Until we you've had enough room. and you're done. In our viewing room, he dominated it because we wanted to hear what yeah. he did. It was Tom Brady. We wanted to see how it was and all that and the reactions and everything. So uh, either way, that was part of the show. And the, it's, you know, it's, it's fitting that it was the Cowboys and them as well because the Cowboys are always kind of their own show to begin with as well. One of the reasons I'm being so blunt about about it is I'm not that he's going to be aware of anything that we say, but You're I'm trying to kinda, everybody. Today. I'm trying to go. Jared him. Goff's the weak link. McVay's modulations an issue. I have Brady's a squeaky some, voice. I, I mean, have, damn, I it's Monday doomsday already. We haven't been together, and and this is we're just going to start like this. Well, you know, I got to get it all in in one day because somebody <laughs> ditched me, okay, for two days a week. So I got to get it all out okay. when I have you for two hours. Okay. So <laughs> sorry, London. So anyway, <laughs> then watch that'll make it through. Like. The, whoever's there that. watching soccer he's, he's asleep smoking his cigarette <laughs> with a pint yeah. he's not even going to press the button <laughs> nigel is going to miss the button altogether <laughs> so anyway i'm trying to go tom brady into being what he wants to be i watched the interview during the texas Mich michigan debacle I on saturday as well and right. you can see and we've both been doing broadcasting long enough not that the experience has actually made a difference but i can see when someone's wheels are turning sure and they're searching for words. He had these long pauses. And I think he's filtering every thought he has through this, can I say it? No, I can't. I need to say something more politically acceptable. Okay. When yeah. they asked him about Deshaun Watson, for right. example, right. it was this vanilla cliche bullshit. Yeah. Instead of, hey, Deshaun, this is the year. This is the year, Deshaun. Yeah. You've got to earn that contract. You've right. got to prove the Browns right for the investment they made. And not only $46 million a year on a five-year fully guaranteed contract, but three first-round picks that could have been low-cost, integral key players on the roster, a roster that is already pretty damn good, and three other draft picks that were given up. You have to do it now, or that's it. It's done. This is it. If you don't rewind the clock to 2020, the, the clock is going to just fall yeah, apart. Right. It's done. Yeah. And – 
I know he wanted to say it. Sure. And I don't want to listen to Tom Brady not being Tom Brady. I And I'm trying to dare him and goad him into saying, screw all that shit. I'm going to say what I believe. Hey, and if somebody doesn't I like it, you. that's their problem. I've made a career out of that, Tom. And I know that it makes your life a little more difficult. You get phone calls from 345 Park Avenue and you get in trouble with the boss. And, but <laughs> you're serving the audience. And it's a disservice to the audience to sit there and give us a bunch of cliches and not say what you think well he's going to teach us the game that's one great thing he's going to be able to do and maybe he'll get into that if there's a uh, tom brady is an awesome guy he really is he there's no doubt about that you know well you know i think he took the air out of the football he sent me a dm he, he did not send me a dm all right but either way right i do think if there's a flaw with him is that he wants everybody to like him, yeah. right? And then there give, is some give of that, that up, Tom. And that, that is at some point going to have to, you know, stop a little bit to make some points, like you said, that are very real. That, that's that's the biggest thing. And, Life and is easier that. when you want everybody to hate you. Then you can just then you can just be your. It's not that you want everybody to, but you just don't care. And I'm just going to be who well, I am yeah. because that's how you serve an well, audience as you see, in a medium like this. Sometimes people don't like you anyway. So you yeah, know, they, and hopefully he'll learn. Well, that because lesson. they can sense phony above all else, and you can like me or hate me, you can agree or disagree with what I say. But I'm never going to be anything other than who I am. When I sit in this chair, when I'm talking on the phone with a radio host, when I'm doing a podcast, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to pretend to be anything other than I'm not. And I think the audience appreciates authenticity, and they can detect. Bullshit a mile away and phony and fake a mile away. It's not phony and fake, though. I don't want to say that. It it's is just, phony and fake. It's, I think it's more. It's I not what it, he truly believes. I think it's more just like he's trying to be a polite gentleman. He wants to say that guy sucks and well, here's why he sucks. May, may, maybe. And maybe he'll get there. Let's give him. Let's like oh, let's we talked it. about I'm with week to, one. It's with the team. I'm dropping let's the bread let him work into it I'm a little bit. I'm dropping the bread I mean, Tommy. you here we are. It yeah, is 730 okay. and you have shit on everybody in the NFL so far. Not everybody. Oh, buddy. We mean, haven't gotten them all to I mean, them all yet. Getting them all. You're We're getting, getting there. Getting there. I mean, gosh. Right. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.